Oh, it's just a very solid lineup from Secret here. Like Vici Gaming has to be the team that makes the. They need to make a lot of moves in the early game with the Dragonite. They need to take towers. They need to make ganks happen with the SB and the Iron Shell and the Dark Sphere. They have to limit AA's levels, Ember Spirit's farm as well. It's it's a tough early game for Vici. Yeah, I just I can't help but think about the psychological side of this game. We're we're, we're used to seeing Vici Gaming coming up to this point almost so confident they get that F1 Bat Rider and a greedy Doom, and now it's like. I feel like they're in try-hard mode now, trying to scrap together what they can <laughs> to really make a surviving chance. You gotta remember, winner of this moves on into the grand final. You even get two days off to relax and rest and prepare. It's a big deal right now, so let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna hop into game number two now of your winner bracket final. It is Team Secret going against VT Gaming. Let's go over to our casters right now. It is God and OD. Gentlemen, go for it right now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carl Gunn and D. Secret versus VG. Game one was absolutely insane, gods. And game two, looking at the drafts, do you think we've got the potential for a, for another close one? I think it's going to be a close one. I ever so slightly prefer VG game. I, I'm a, I'm always biased when I see a Dragonite draft, though. I love the tempo this hero creates. He's so good at putting a lot of pressure on early. And when you've got heroes like Darkseer and Spirit Break, it just feels like VG's lineups have five heroes that will all come online and be really powerful before Secret's ready to really clash. Similar story to last game, though, and Secret were just so good at holding on and buying time. And talking about putting the pressure on early secret with an incredibly deep smoke here, looking for FY. They're gonna find him in the tree line, puppy leaning forward here. The chilling touch comes out, there'll be a charge across. Can they kill the line here? One more right click from puppy should do it. He's gonna set it up with a nightmare, but no, can't quite finish it now. And now Quad jumps in, they'll have to stop for Nixon, they'll get the slide of it. The first kill, the second kill, two kills for secret off the back of that smoke. And nothing that VG can do in return. Beautiful play there from Secret before the, the, the clock even goes here. It's still 15 seconds before this game begins. That was some crazy ballsy stuff. And I guess just kind of reading VG Gaming's movements, knowing that they often TP a support to the safe lane to get down the early ward, and they capitalize off of it. That's a huge start for them. The first blood went the way of the Ember, who's now going to have a much easier time Looks like he'll be headed towards the off lane, in fact, though. So mixing up their lanes here, giving Misery what looks like a very safe, easy lane to farm it. Yeah, I mean, I guess in terms of lanes from Vici, what are they doing in response? This is going to be the classic. Well, they on the off lane. Jungle here. darks here. Okay, and they're going to send Femre down here on the off lane on his own yeah. on the Spirit Breaker. I think. Initially, they were expecting Secret to just try and secure their safe lane with a trial lane, which is where Dax is like, well, I can't get XP against an AA plus Ember yeah. plus Bane. And chill Chilling Touch with two good range zoning supports, he thought he had to jungle, but it turns out it's not going to be a trial lane. It's still okay for him to stand in the jungle. He can rotate down bottom or help out the safe lane once he hits level 2, level 3. So as far as the lane setup goes, Vici Gaming, slightly more greedy setup with the jungler and something they will get away with for now, although they're not pressuring the Ember as they normally do. I mean, do you think there will be a point where they've obviously seen the lanes that they'll say, okay, let's get Ice 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 on the bottom lane and then have Spirit Breaker being a little bit more active around the map so you can kind of punish the fact that, that MV's farming up here in this top lane? Yeah, I think after a few levels, mentioned like the Darkseer level 3 being a kind of a key timing, he can come back to the lane with level 2 Iron Shell. Same for Fenrir, he probably wants about level 3 as well. Uh, if, and then he can start rotating around. He can't really kill the Wind Ranger mid unless... Weehaar gets too greedy going for a room when he's low HP or something, and Super just happens to be chasing him down. It's unlikely Weehaar's ever in a position where he can get charged and killed. He can always cancel it as well with the Shackle Shot. So not really any easy kill opportunities outside of that top safe lane, which may be where he goes if Daryl comes to the bottom lane. I think more likely we actually may see Ice 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 rotate bottom and Spirit okay. Breaker and Ice 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 go for just kills. Yeah. On the bottom Team line. Up. Yeah, yeah try and punish misery. Level 1 Carapace yep. is a very short stun uh, duration. So yeah, you can hit, you can Carapace when they go on you. You're kind of guaranteed a proc against the, the charge as well as the Iron Shell, but 0.6 second stun is not something to be worried about. And they can dodge the Impale, like kind of circle around him, and it's very likely they can get a kill with the two heroes. Okay, I mean, we we'll talked about the outlanes. The mid lane matchups are Weeha against Super. You said yourself you're a fan of the DK. Is this a lane where we should see Super come out and top a farm? What do you think Weeha is going to be able to play around the DK? Uh, Weeha, I mean, Rain Zero, Wind Ranger, great at laning, great harass, does have the farming edge. Yeah. But DK is never picked to win his lane at mid. It's really not like a single hero that he out farms that is played commonly in yes, the mid lane. Yes, uh, common mid laners, yeah. It's, it's like the DK at the same time doesn't really have many bad matchups. So he's almost always going to be able to secure farm, just bottle crow if he needs to, spam out the breathe fighter, secure himself enough farm to get a decent timing level six. Queen of Pain, pro probably the one matchup where he can lose if Queen of Pain gets the two points in Shadow Strike, but Wind Ranger, 
should be fine for Super. I don't think either player is going to win this lane okay. unless there's some external forces, some kind of a, a surprise gank coming into play. And talking about kind of external forces and the activity that both teams are going to be able to do with their with their lineups and with their supports more more particular. I mean, do you feel there's a side that we're going to see more kind of global action from in the earlier parts of this game? As far as the lane stage goes, the action we'll see will probably be around the rune spawns. Uh, Dragonite in between Bottle Crow and will look, be looking to secure himself rune. So if there is any action, it's going to come with Secret saying, let's stop the DK getting a rune, bringing in like both supports as well as the Wind Ranger, try and kill the DK around like the top rune spot. But more likely, I think. DK, if he feels in any danger, he's just going to bop to Bottle Crow. So okay. there's always kind of counter plays you can make. And being such an important game here in the winner bracket final, I think teams will be playing things more cautiously. Okay, Amber. MV has reconnected. And. <laughs> Scientists okay, uh, baffled. I guess you guys can't see this, but uh, yeah. Uh, the reason we had that DC was because MV accidentally pressed the power button on his computer. But let's whip. We're going to get off of the show back on the road here. It wouldn't be a secret game without uh, an MV pause. Um, <laughs> yeah. well, let's get it back on, gods. <laughs> All right. So things gonna settle down here. It will be a dual lane versus dual lane here at the top lane. Lion not really great at fighting into the chilling touch and actually taking a lot more harass than he'd like. I'm the ancient apparition. I mean, this this top lane matchups are the Ember Farm against the Queen. It's, I mean, at the moment we can see in CS, 5 for 2 yep. against 5 for 1, so it's very close, and as you said, well, Pilot Die actually coming up here with Puppy, maybe looking to try and set something up on FY. Yeah, and just got to be careful. Just body blocking the pool camp at this stage, until they bring another sentry here. They use double sentries to deal with this, and something you really have to do against the aggro trial is have access to your pool camp, because if you can continually pull you're denying much needed experience, and even farm from the secret aggro trial lane, and once you block the pool camp, it now opens up secret support, support start lane. roaming. They're really punishing Envy. Nice slide of fist dodge there. It does manage to avoid the shadow strike coming out from the Quop and yeah, in the jungle, as you said. Looking to punish this ice, ice, ice darks here. Yep. And the side of this was picked up for the first blood, but something he would likely have gotten anyways against shadow strike. You always want to get this spell against the Queen of Pain in lane and... Well, it will also allow him to set up a Searing Chains and kind of close the gap against Queen of Pain should the supports come in looking for a kill. And they might just find it here if FY comes this way. No, the pings come out. He's going to keep it safe. Oh, is he? No. Just hit yeah. level three. Yeah, I mean, th this is the thing. FY's got to be so careful how far he comes out. Fairly squishy hero, just under 500 HP on this line. And we've already seen the amount of damage that they can kick out with a Chilling Touch being laid down onto the three of them. <laughs> Puppy's just playing mind games here. He's pretending to body block the pool camp, when in reality, it's just this sentry ward blocking it. So it's almost trying to bait out FY into thinking, ah, oh, it's not actually blocked. I don't need to deward it. And then Puppy just kind of swings back, being annoying, continually getting vision as well of where the line is, how he's moving around the map. Yeah, and talking about moving around the map, we've seen what we were, we were discussing earlier. So Ice 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 now on the bottom lane. And Femri is going to look for some action elsewhere. He's reaching onto level 4, so he did get a fair bit of XP there on the solo lane. We'll see if he's able to find anything in the mid lane. Pop yeah, down a ward here, so he knows that Weeha at the moment hasn't got any backup. He's going to wait until he comes out across the river, but... Full HP Wind Ranger with a yeah, Dragon it's Knight. it's going to be hard. Unless yeah. you TP in one more hero, that's not a kill. Spirit Break and DK cannot do it alone. And it looks like Femra is probably just going to choose to make his way back up top and, and see if he can yep. punish this uh, Ember Spirit. He's obviously just, just level 3, sharing the XP at the moment in lane with Pylite Die. So if they can catch him out numerous times before he gets that level 6 on. Here we go. And they're going to go for Pylite Die here. And uh, maybe if Envy sticks around, they can try and find more. We'll see if they can do anything to stop it here. So he could actually be backing up at the moment. And they should be able to maybe even get a Nightmare out. In fact, Femra just cancels it here now with the Flame Guard. They'll start to chase it down. Burning is there. Just fending off each other, and looks like no one's going to have yep. too many casualties here. Everyone's just playing it safe on this top lane. But now that they do know that Femria is, of course, hiding around in the tree line. An important Radiant Ward on that cliff at the top rune scouts out those kind of charges. Yeah. And that's where, if they don't scout the charge coming, Bane likely stays pushed up in the lane and gets caught out. And there's no kind of saving him from the Ember Spirit's point of view. So very nice early game warding coming out from Secret. Even the ward at the bottom rune, giving a lot of much vision. Envy's going to be the target here. Pilot Dice is going to be able to do anything in terms of saving. He puts the Nightmare onto the line. Oh, so the, the stone isn't going to be there, but the Shadow Strike comes out. Flame Guard blocking a fair bit here. And Envy's actually going to be able to ward this one off here. So we'll come out to Pilot Dice. Puts the Nightmare onto Femre. Let's see if we are can find anything. He's got that shackle and he has got the DD as Look well. Boots. He can't really chase. Uh, 
Yeah, unfortunate for Weha that he comes up and can't find anything. But he'll be able to farm the lane. Envy That's... will make his way back to base. But yeah, it's a good mm -hmm. job that Envy managed to keep himself up. And the two points in Flame Guard there, has he only just reached level four? Pretty much yeah. saved him there. Absolutely. One, one point in that, and you were dead. Yeah, two points in Shadow Strike. Burning could have got another right click off if he felt like he was going to get the kill. So, stay, stays alive, but Weha in this top lane is they not good news. They find a to burn. Oh, yeah. But he just blinks out in time. Oh, bottom lane. Ice, ice, ice. He's now found an ancient apparition in his lane. Down uh, he goes. That's uh, a very nice rotation from Puffy. We saw Misery was struggling a little bit now that the Darks here come into lane. And, and finding that, that's going to put Misery back on a, a very good track in terms of farm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, having an early dagger on Nick's assassin is going to be absolutely lethal for the side of VG, and we just know how good Misery is with these kind of heroes, like the Nick's assassin, like last game with the Magnus, and of course with his kind of signature Slardar. He's going to be able to make so much happen across the map if he gets a good timing on Blink. Yeah, and just going for this kind of new style build with the double mangoes. Top lane, they'll have the stun here. They're going to be able to follow through with a Femrid charge. We are trying to make him his way back to the tower, but the Hex is there. Now with no win run, a Shackle, very nice. He cancels the charge. Femrid's going to continue to look for it, though. He turns around to Bernie. Might just find it. Oh, the creeps, can they do it now? <laughs> the rage creeps take down the Quap, so they do lose the Wind Ranger. But at least they find something in return, and he um, Weha gets a bit of his money back mid lane. Super moving in with the stun onto Pylite, die here. Misery's there, misses the oh, stun here. Super dark. with the haste room will get the kill, and he will also be able to get himself out. So two for one across the map. So nicely that's... done by VG, but at least they managed to find a return kill on that top, thanks to the creeps there, Secret. Yeah, that's ultimately the best result that Weha could have got yeah. out of the position he was in. And Super at mid with a really sick impale dodge. Has already chipped down a bit at this tower, and likely we'll see him just continually spam out the ultimate to try and put as much pressure on the bottom lane. Bottom. Who's Ooh. been dropped on EE? Yeah, he's going to have to back himself up. Now with Pilot die here. This Snarks is going to be in trouble. Search is now down. I don't think Ice 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 can get himself out of this. Chilling Touch is out. They'll take the kill, and, and another kill here for the side of Secret on that bottom lane, 5 for 2. And meanwhile, well, Misery, he goes in mid with Weeha, and they get themselves a kill on the DK as well, so things looking up already for the side of Secret just seven minutes in. This is a 3-0 Nyx Assassin already, not a hero who normally has these kind of stats because he's often in that solo lane in the off lane, and even a lot of the heroes 1v1 matchups normally aren't too favorable, and I feel like Vici Gaming are being punished right now for not laning the Darks here in bottom. Starting off with him in the jungle meant that Misery had too easy of a time in the lane. That's all lane, yeah, misery. Uh, he's gonna finish off the arcanes first here. FY hanging around with burning, burning yet to hit that six and hasn't got that sonic wave and, and mid lane. So Weeha's farms really stepped up. The fact that they got that kill, 42 to four now against the 34 for five. So is breaking ahead of this DK and super actually looking for some action down bottom. Envy he has got a remnant out. They've got the vacuum here. They've got the stun as well. And Envy he will just get the remnant out. They got the tick damage still bringing him down. 20 second mystery. He's trying to turn it, but his family the charge. Oh, the oh. chains! Envy. Slows him down, Remnant's out, he's going to be fine. Misery may not be so because Super's there with the Dragon Tail. They're looking for the next assassin. We looks for the Shackle, won't latch, so they'll lose Misery. But Envy managing to get himself out just by the skin of his teeth. And these, these Ember Jukes, we saw it last game where he just somehow gets out of these what look like horrendous positions. And we're seeing it again, some incredible mechanical skill shown by Eternal Envy. And Burning now hitting level 6, this is where... Vici Gaming want to use this this Sonic Wave as soon as possible. They need to wait for the next Dragon Form, most likely, because they don't want to just only get a kill. When you've got a DK line, you've got to start pushing those T1 towers around the 10-minute mark, if not earlier. So expect to see Burning TP rotate to these side lanes once that DK Ultimate Form comes back up. Maybe even time to go for like an early smoke now as well. And they were charging onto we there, but he's going to cancel it, Femre. In fact, by looks like he's just charging across so he could get the stack time here on the Ancients, so... I think it was a little bit early by the looks of it, and yeah, he's unfortunately not going to get the Ancient stack there. A nice attempt, top lane. Misery coming in with the Vendetta. There is a Sentry down and an Observer, so they know that the Nyx has been bound, and, and Burning's going to be able to keep himself safe by the tower, and he's also got the backup here still of FY in the line. Yeah, Misery, I think the Siege Creep hit him once, I'm not sure if that was the case, but... Oh, yeah, no, they've, they've, got, they've, got the, they've got the, the Observer there. Yeah. 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 yeah, so he's been spotted. Yeah, he knows, and... Pylite die. Maybe still seeing if they can set something up. If they can get Nightmare out, Misery can move in for the combo. He's still because going still... for this. 
FY right he's he's got to be careful here. We're going to go for the stun. It's actually going to catch Ooh. the line out, but line does get the hex here. There'll be a charge coming across as well, and maybe Pilot Time Mystery have overstepped the market. But Burning moving back in. Still has us on There it is onto two. The Nightmare comes out, but it's just a little bit the too nine. late. Pilot Die will fall. The charge is still coming across, but it's a fair way still for Femre to travel. This is and really good commit. for PG. They've got the DK ultimate form. Top no, it looks like cancel. they'll die for yeah. the kill, but this opened up the tier one tower for the taking. The exact kind of tempo they need. Pick off and then push. The Sonic Wave and then the DK ulti form just working really nicely together. See if Secret have what it takes to defend this. I feel like if they want to, they need the Wind Ranger up here for the power shot. That's exactly what they'll do. Yep, we are coming in. The Shackle beautifully onto the range. Creep onto Burning. The stunts fall up as well. Now the Remnant 4 from EE. Can they get Burning? No! The Blink's out there on 25 HP. The Remnant's force. He's desperately trying to find it, but he's out of mana EE. He'll try and chase, but now just look for Super with the flank. And the power shot, though, gets the kill. Weehart gets one, he gets two. Double kill for the man on the Wind Ranger. That TP shackle, like most players, like a lot of players there on the Wind Ranger would have tried to shackle off of the hero, and that's what Vici Gaming were expecting. They split their heroes, did the good old fashioned Delta split, so that he couldn't get any two-hero shackle, but Weehart kind of anticipated it, lane. gets it off the Look, decree. Ice, ice, ice. He's gone fairly deep here. Has got oh, the wall dear. out. Mystery's going to be there with a stun. More TP's coming from Puppy with the chilling touch. He'll turn around and take the kill. Ice, ice, ice thought he could get away with diving there onto the lone AA, but it wasn't the case. There's now a Nether Strike available up top. They're going to go in on this. Yeah, they've got the charge across here. Onto Pylite. We turns around, gets the shackle. We'll hold back the breaker. They may still lose, still lose Pylite here. Yeah, Bernie blinks forward. They'll get the kill onto the Bane. There's an Ice Blast flying through. The power shot isn't going to connect either. So they won't be able to burst anyone down. But still, 9 for 5. It certainly feels like Secret have the definitive edge of this early game. Yep. And Vici Gaming now starting to get the, a few more key spells online. They've got the Lion up to level 6. So you've got the Finger of Death. Sonic Wave coming back up soon, and again, they need to hit this timing. They're going to be slowed down a lot by Ice Ice Ice's lack of farm. You really want to have that mech around 13 to 15 minutes so that you can smoke up, use the DK ultimate, use the Lion Finger, the Queen of Pain Sonic Wave to secure kills, and not having a mech makes it a lot more difficult to fight into the Power Shot spam, the Nyx Assassin Impale. The, it's not a huge amount of AoE damage, but it's enough that you do need a mech. Oh, mid lane. Super's got to be careful. A Shackle, a Power Shot, and the Ice Blast would do it, and it's going to latch. Super in a lot of trouble. We'll turn around, get the stun. They can't quite get him low enough here by the looks of it for the Ice Blast to proc. So it's a good job that Fenrir turns up, and Fenrir will ensure. Oh! oh! Okay! We are. Steps up, gets the power shot in. What? what oh player. my goodness. You know, it's one of those things where right. not, not often you see teams like pick up their mid and carry in the first two picks. It's very, normally it's like a support plus core or like an off laner picked up Bottom when Tusk there. And uh, moving in with a flame guard. He'll find Ooh. ice, ice, ice. Femre is hanging around. He's going to use the nether strike here on some misery. We're going to see if there's any out. Oh, the bashes are coming out as well, but the creeps blocking him up here. Burning will blink in here to finish off the kill onto the next assassin. So they do. Managed to take down Misery here on this bottom lane. God, we are all oh, not we are. He's moving in with an invis. Is he going to find more kills? He's already got four kills, three assists. Burning's got to be so careful here. We are. It's going to be the easiest shackle shot of his life. Puppy's there as well with the ice blast straight onto the crop. They'll get another one almost suddenly. He's still in the tree line here, but he should take down and they'll find the kill nonetheless. We are on a mega kill streak 13 minutes in. Yep. There's a reason why they picked up the Wind Ranger and they oh, have yeah. spirit early in this draft. No, they just, they want to give Weeha his Wind Ranger just because yeah. of how incredible he can play on this hero and uh, we're seeing it here. Pilot die, maybe caught out here. They'll have to stun the finger as well and Pilot die, yeah. It's taken down. Again, another pick up for VG, but secret in the moment, just finding the bigger ones. And the fact that, I mean, the crop, he's four deaths at the moment on the plate here. It's not great for burning. Yeah, and super not really having much in the way of item progression as well. It just really feels like secret have outplayed VG game in the lane. First, it was Misery controlling the tempo. Now that we has got levels and got an edge, he's looking to really press that advantage, roam around when he finds these key runes, and even outside of it, just TPing to defend these towers. Not often do you see a team able to defend 12 minutes in the game against that DK ultimate when you've got the kind of backup that Lion, Darkseer, Spirit Breaker provide. They're just lacking item right now, and oh, Secret Misery too far ahead. He's going to call in an Ice Blast, probably. And here it comes. Ice Blast. I'll have one, and Puppy says, here you go. They'll find the kill, and that's the combo. Just setting up these glow Ice Blast that you pretty much killing most people on the map here with the Burst from Misery. There will be a charge and another strike from... Yeah, and they'll turn it around here. Burning, he has got a Sonic Wave if he needs to, but he won't. Super turns up and they'll get the return kill onto the Nyx Assassin. So just a one-for-one -one trade there between the solo laners. And even though we're just early on, it's a 2.5k gold lead for Secret. 
You can't play the farm game. This draft does not go late game for Vici Gaming. It's a Queen of Pain Dragonite as their two cores up against an Ember Windranger. You have to turn things around as soon as possible. Smoke has been picked up by Spirit Breaker. They've got Sonic Wave again. Burning are going to rush a BKB, so they are really all in on the early game. I think really the biggest item pick up at the moment to note is the fact that FY has got oh. that blink 15 minutes in. This is a really good wow. timing here for the Lion, and this is exactly what you need against these two high mobility cores, such as the Ember Spirit and the Wind Range. And this, this is something that Secret have got to be incredibly you know, aware of in these next fights, because if he jumps in, gets the initiation, they've still got a significant amount of burst and team fight on the side of Vici Gaming to get these big kills. Yeah, and this is thing we're seeing more and more out of Vici, where they just put FY into a fairly greedy role, where he'll just take the safe lane farm. Oh, I see all these TPs. I don't, this is not going to work. Are they smoking up here? That was like triple TPs. Yeah. This is... Oh, okay. They I mean, should be aware. They did this out of vision, but you see three heroes TP top. You know this is coming your way. Does Envy, though. He, he oh, really should. Envy. Oh, Envy. Envy. He did not get the memo. Oh, They're straight Envy. in. He did not get told about this one. The nether strikes there. They've got the control and they get the kill. I... Radiance top tower. Yeah, it's just, uh... I guess he did not really, see the smoke, yeah. to be they, fair. They saw the TP, but he, as you said, four heroes TPing top, yep. you'd imagine they're going to look for something. So I don't know if saw at least a couple of the TPs, and well, Secret, with a DD room picked up. Okay, making the best of a bad yep. situation here, and using Absolutely. the fact that they've all TP top to go for Roshan, and that's going to mean that the side of VG, I'm going to be able to do anything about this. They will find a tier two trade, but yeah, Secret will be able to get this Aegis, and of course, almost certainly giving it to Weehar now, who has got that Axe as well at a very reasonable timing. Ah, and they're going to swoop on towards that mid lane, but it doesn't look like they'll get here in time. Puppy gets low off of this, so see if a counter initiation is possible. Ooh. There's one. <laughs> okay, the wall and the finger drop there onto Pylite Die. They do get the kill. But yeah, Secret get away with this. Weeha, he's going to be fine. And Misery still closing in on that blink. He's got 1400 at the moment on this next Assassin, so still a, a little while to go. But as we can see, the fact that Vici, they've got an insane amount of push power with that DK. They take down yep. the tier two top. And that's pretty much, as you said, that's got to be the game plan here for Vici because they cannot let this go late against Secret. Yeah, and, and despite Roshan being claimed, Vici Gaming have turned around that 2.5k gold lead to bring it back to even. They can't slow down now. This is really where Vici Gaming's lineup was meant to be about three to 5,000 gold ahead. They were meant to have had the Darkseer mech a couple minutes ago, and he should already be working on like the Arcane Boots to build into the Guardian Greaves, for example, or a Blink Dagger, whatever it may be. Everything's just been a little bit slower. The timing windows have been missed, and Secret... Now with an Aegis as well, that just means that Weeha can play a lot more aggressive should those tower pushes come and Secret decide they want to try and defend. And I think they, we, we will see Secret get to a point where they feel confident enough to fight into the Vici lineup, especially before they have BKBs. Once Super as well as Burning have BKBs on Quop and DK, it gets a lot more difficult. Now, Misery's going to TP out of this one. There was a charge from across mid lane. We are trying to move in. There'll be a Dragon Tail from Super, but now with the Ice Blast flying through, he's going to connect onto the DK and we are. Uh, he's looking for Fenrir. That's the backup of Pilot I am popping there. Is a Fiend Script available and they may just use it here. They do get it out, but the Nether Strike's there in time. Dragon Breath as well, but there's your Shackle Shot from We are. Power Shot as well. Super's got a fair bit of armor here with the four points in Dragon's Burst. He will still go down there. That's one. And it looks like We are may just find this as well with a Power Shot. And he will. On point. Double kill here for this Wind Ranger. We are. Never failing to perform in this game. Absolutely. 7 1 and 3. Now it's Secret taking towers. Misery with a great rotation to come in and another fantastic shackle shot out of Weeha. Yeah, that was a big bit of action for Misery to be involved in as well. He's got the XP now, he's level 11, and he does have that gold for the blink. And there we go, straight away now for Misery. So Vici, they've got to be that little bit more scared. And at the moment, it certainly feels like Secret with the momentum, but we've got to remember in game one, it felt like Vici had the early game momentum, then there was the swing around, but I think as we've said with this draft, it's going to be a lot harder for Vici to do it this game. Yeah, very different story. And now, I mean, Secret haven't even really reached their key items until just now. They get double blinks, Windranger and Nyx. I guess you could argue, I mean, Windranger had an accident, amazing time. So in a lot of ways, Weeha was ready to fight, but with two blinks, they've got incredible initiation and... Vici's game plan, plan right now, as much as they want to kind of sit back, farm their BKBs, I don't think they can wait that long. I think they really need to find pickoffs ASAP, and that's how they're going to farm the BKBs, is by slowing Secret down, taking pickoffs. And I think Secret seem to know this, because they're actually huddled up, headed all towards the top lane, grouped as five, and that's something where they don't want to get caught out by a kind of a four, three or four-man smoke gank. And if that comes their way, well, they're ready with superior numbers.
Yeah, we can see in the moment they're going for the burning bait, Vici. They're just it's keeping cop in the mid lane. We'll very see if anyone calls for it, secret. Secret. Likely just to go for a trade up top. They might still lead in here. The tower's gonna go. As now Super reveals himself. Ice 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 does have the wall. Burning Blink Sour here. Shackle shot from We Are straight on to Super here. Mystery goes forward as well with the fight carapus. They get the wall out though, but now the fuse grips on Ice Ice Ice. They've already found the kill on Super. There's your vacuum, but there's just no follow up here as the side of Secret cleaning up. They found two. They'll get burning as well with the shackle oh. shot onto the range creep. He's got to blink in a couple of seconds, but it's not gonna be soon. They'll try to turn around onto We Are. We Are's gonna be careful of the illusion, but he's got the win run. We Are will get out. No, I fight! Okay, pops the Aegis. Now, if I should be able to blink out here, I don't think they'll be able to catch out the line. So, no. So, three for two there, but they did get the Aegis as well from Vici. So, by no means their worst fight so far yep. this game. And, and maybe even one of the better ones here, 20 minutes in, as they do at least find something for Secret, but it is just the AA and the Knicks. Yeah. They lose their two cores and they lose their offlaner. Solid, but overall favoring yeah. Secret. Secret, for them, like a 50 50 team fight. And it wasn't a 50 50 team fight, as you said. The yeah. two cores on Vici going down, it buys time. Buys time for them to go towards the late game where they've got the superior draft, where Vici Gaming's heroes are going to be falling off. And. Vici Gaming, they're being forced to fight before they've got their core items. It's not a mistake that they're fighting pre BKBs, it's just a necessity. And Secret just taking advantage of that fact. Well, there's a charge coming through. I believe the ward will have spotted it here, so they'll know that the initiation stage is looking for the nightmare here. Go for it. Actually, the bash oh, is there. He's not, not too far away. There's your fact. Cuma, Ice Pass is going to fly into the nightmare step on, and there's your stun. The Ravage from Misery effectively getting to. FY is going to go down here on the sidelines. Here. He pops the one charge. It isn't going to be enough. Fenrir will not get out as Weeha's there with the shackle to cancel the TP. Three pick offs yet again for Secret. Weeha now godlike on the Wind Ranger. And it just does not stop each and every fight. Secret coming out on top. Yeah, the, these these Nick stuns and just all the counter plays from Secret, the shackles, everything just latching. They, they, they that time they didn't get the charge cancel in the past. They've been very consistent with it, but misery in all these fights seems to be hitting two hero impales like time after time. Shackles also catching every single shackle, not always going for two heroes, but making sure it latches onto something. So even if it's a one hero shackle, he's making sure he doesn't airball it. And there we go, now Secret on the bottom lane, looking to get a push on, oh, towards the mid, they have found Misery. Okay, Hexed up here, Misery could be in a spot of bother here, they've got the burst damage, they'll take away his mana. He's gonna have Vendetta, but the sentry is out, there's the charge through, so they'll get the kill onto Misery there. Pull it by our position, but at the same time, Secret looking to find a trade, and that'll be the tier two. Darkseer gets the vacuum, and the wall to do, but the shackle shot is there. Now we are, Pilotine Puppy, will have to disengage, Burning does still have the Sonic Wave, blinks forward here, the Ice Blast coming back and returning with the Brain Sap, Burning getting incredibly low, Power shot. charge onto Pilotine, and Burning may just tick out here. Is he gonna go? I Very think close. he's four okay, he's gonna be good to stop the final instance of damage. So that is a huge loss though, even though he stays alive. It's a 10 second BKB oh. going down. Dragon Tail onto Ember. Looking for the Nether Drive with the Shackles oh. there to cancel the cast animation of Fenrir. Focus fire. They'll find one, they'll find the Darks as well. It's a lovely vacuum, but there's just a, once again no follow up here for Ice Ice Ice. And they do manage to keep out on top here. We are now with 10 kills. It's this win Ranger man. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh Super now. my goodness, there is a stun, the finger as well, the Sonic Wave, they do get the kill onto Weehaw. Ice Blast comes through though, they'll find one. They're gonna lose Puppy as well, this is a good fight for Vici. They may lose Burning and they do, so they do still get the clear up here from Ember Spirit. A bit of a costly death there, losing Weehaw on the Wind Ranger, but they do still manage to find a lot of kills Envy. in return. Envy needs to be careful, there's no more lockdown, Misery will find this, they'll just turn. Way. Double kill for Envy, Misery's got his back. He'll TP out, the charge won't be there in time. So a bit of a messy fight there. I'm yep. lucky that they lost win range, but as I said, in terms of numbers, Secret just coming out on top every time. And even losing your Beyond God like win range, and normally you'd say that's a pretty big loss, and they're gonna oh, lose Envy. more on the side of Vici Gaming. Ice, 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 TP'd in, actually barely survived, unless there's another searing oh, change, and right. there is. Oh, the mech, nah, that's not enough, not enough. The blink dagger, Envy, Envy just Envy, Envy. styling over Vici Gaming. Yeah, I mean, again, it's for Secret, it's like, they're drawing the game out. Yeah, you lose your win range, and the gold exchange is pretty even, despite it being like a 4 for 3 or something, but... VG Gaming have no late game still. They're already chewing through Burning's BKB, down to 9 seconds. The DK only now picks his up, coming very late in the game. And Secret just continuing to pile on items. The Blink on the Ember, so he's got some good synergy with a, a, blink, a blink Shackle. He can blink in and still have an escape, and not have to worry. I'm getting initiated on. We're gonna smoke up, but it was underneath this ward from Vici. Oh. So they may okay. not catch Vici anything. Vici may look to set up here. 
They've got oh. double BKB. Oh, man, unless now just still walks into them and uh, uh, he's oh. <laughs> oh, very dead. All right, okay. Yeah. Just rubbing into him and uh, they're going to look for more here. FY's going to get taken down as well. Fenrir, he's not getting out of this one. Round of four, double kill for Envy in this game. I mean, game one was close, but this one, Secret just breaking ahead. Oh, yeah. Ice 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 might be in trouble here as well as Misery moving in with a Vendetta. If they get the vision, they should be able to find it. And there we go. Getting it's out getting of painfuller and painfuller for the side of VG. They just can't find anything in return. And another yeah. huge swing. Four kills for the side of Secret. And Ooh. they're just playing a hell of a lot better than VG. Hey, VG gaming, I, I, did, did they see that smoke? Do you know? For sure? You it, mentioned it, they did. They did. Okay. I had the dire observer here. Oh, they I, saw the smoke. I guess they were anticipating that Secret were headed towards the Roshan pit or headed through the bottom lane because Super ran up to the high ground almost like looking to set up and counterplay the smoke. But... Yeah, um, back up. Yeah, as you said, maybe they felt that yeah, they could just pop the smoke from the high ground, but this yeah, the speed on secret was too great. They closed the gap much quicker than VG could. I think scattered out here and getting charged at the bottom lane. But he's got back up very nearby. Yeah, let's see if uh, they can get the kill on yeah, he's gonna fully go for it. The nightmare Tosh of the charges is very nice. They'll be the nether strike, but here's we are. He'll take down the cow. And now MV moves in onto FY. He's going to go down as a god right now on Envy on this Ember Spirit. And this is looking a bit disheartening for the side of VG Gaming. Secret just playing insanely well this series. Yeah, it doesn't... I mean, at this point, it looks like a drafting issue because VG Gaming, you can say, oh, they've got no late game. Their draft isn't working, but... To me, very much, it was not a drafting loss for Vici Gaming. It came purely down to execution and great laning and early game play out of Team Secret. The double kill they got at level one before the horn, and from there, they just continued to snowball. Oh, Envy blinks in, and he baits out the BKB here from Super, who pops it immediately. That's going to be the BKB down now on DK it's... for a good, good few minutes, well, a minute or so, just under a minute. And again, oh. Secret will just keep falling back, wait out for another Roshan, probably. If, if you're Vici, you've got to just all in on uh, right right now. Like, you cannot just sit back, wait for opportunities to come to you. You've got to go to Team Secret. Yeah, this is the play here. Looking for the smoke. Heading to Roach Pit, as it does just spawn. So Secret, you know, I'm going to look for it almost certainly with the Wind Ranger. It's just Misery sitting in the pit at the moment, so maybe the one Stanky blink straight out. Oh! So Misery's Misery. position there is yeah. amazing. This spot here, he's as close as possible to reveal the smoke gank coming down, and he's got a Radiant Ward as well, which can give him some scouting information. So he had two wards to protect him around the pit, and he was in the best possible position to scout out the smoke. Oh, and they find the chains of the burning. Another Will force BKB out the BKB. Force. Super, he's got to get himself he's out of here as well. The Fiend script from Pylite dies, sets up the Ice Blast. Super down, Envy blinks forward with a slight the chains, gets the Dark Seer. Misery trying to change, but there's your run of point. Incredibly aggressive from Envy, but he can afford to be at this point. Beyond Godlike now in this Ember Spirit. Ice 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 trying to get himself out of there. We are moving in with the right things. Will he find it? Yes, he will. Killing spree for the Wind Ranger. Fenrir getting caught out by the stun. He's taken down as well. Four down on VG. And none with buyback available. And again, Secret just outplaying the side of VG this game. And I really like this pickup that M Envy picked up. Realizing he's ahead, gets the Desolator because in these fights at this point, and of course just to offer to the push, the Roche attempts, it's, yeah. it's a fantastic item he's, to pick up. He's not really cleaving that much damage. The, the, well, he's not, he's not going to necessarily get like a lot of cleave damage off. It's all about the single target. Yeah. They're finding heroes isolated. He can bring down the line in like two slide of fists now. Also, with the extra bit of push power that this item can give you as well, this is very much a snowball item coming out from the Ember Spirit, and it just feels like Secret are playing a little mini game between Weeha and Envy. Like, who's going to get the most kills here? It just feels like they're both trying to one up each other, fight after fight. Right now, Envy has the edge with 14 kills to Weeha's 13, but both of these two snow uh, carry snowball. Oh, it's a completely dangerous now on Weeha. It's it's looking very grim. Another failed yeah. gank attempt. They went for Envy at the top lane. Vici Gaming couldn't get the Blink Hex off. And then Envy's bottom. It's not like he even just remnants back to the base or really defensively. He remnants to an aggressive position on the map where he applies more pressure, forces Vici Gaming to now defend the bottom lane and waste more and more time. And just the, the difference in net worth is coming close to 20,000 in favor of Secret. This is a, a very different kind of flow to the game that we had in game one. This game's secret. Just everything working out as planned from the start for them. Yeah, it's, it's hard to talk about a game like this when you've gone for this early game kind of all-in lineup. You've even itemized purely for the early game as well. And 
You're losing. Oh, the comeback potential oh, just isn't the really there. One. Looking for the shackle shot. They don't find it. Doesn't matter. They found one. Maybe they can do it with a vacuum wall. That's huge. Gets two. And now they're there to try to bash it onto MV. Maybe this is the turnaround. If they can kill We Are here, which they just might be able to. He gets forced away here. Pilot Dime Puppy's still around. But can they save the Wind Ranger? No, the body blocking there for the illusions from Ice Size Size. Double kill for the Darks here. And that's exactly what BG need to keep themselves in this game. Massive fight there for the Dyer. That is 6,000 yeah. plus oh. gold. Oh, oh, oh. They and may more. just find more as well. Charge onto Puppy. In comes Burning. Puppy's going to go down as well. Four. Oh, the TP. The TP. The TP. The TP gets it. He gets it. He's out. Minimizes the casualty for the side of Secret, but that is a huge blow to the side yeah. there. As you said, a massive swing. It's still a long, long road for Vici Gaming. They'll build towards what items they can. That's Darkseer with 3.7k gold. I think oh. he got 2.5k gold just from the team, according to the team fight recap, and suddenly has a huge pot to play around with. You can pick up a Blink plus a Guardian Greaves or something. Yeah, it and burning was... now with an Orchid, My Dragonite goodness. gets a Shadow Blade. Items suddenly, this is like the kind of items you hope for to see on. This is what we like to see. The game kind of. It's not over yet at all. You know, not BG quite. just bringing it back, and yeah, as you said, it's that, still a very long road. For, it is a long road, <laughs> but uh, they certainly Jamie. found the the entrance to this road here with that fight. Yeah. They're ready to turn. Yeah, and they're swimming upstream. Then yeah. this is not the way you're meant to be playing with no. their lineup. They're not meant to be behind at this stage. So for them, they're fighting the current. Really going to have to dig deep if they want to turn this one around. It's got to come from just that. These huge team fight potential coming out from a Darkseer with a vacuum wall. There's just no other way. Everything's got to land. They've got to use their BKB. They've got to fight around the BKBs. In the past, Secret, when the B they force out the BKBs, they pull back, and then suddenly Vici Gaming have no way to team fight. So Vici Gaming have to make sure they're fully committed. They've got Secret also fully committed before they pop their BKBs and take a fight. Or could a great item to do that, though. If you can silence and keep the Ember there and prevent him from getting out, he hasn't got any defensive items. This could really now start to play into Vici Gaming's hands as they've now got initiation potential out of Super with the Shadow Blade on top of that. Yeah, it's all about the wombo combo here for Vici. You know, in terms of the kind of solo pickoff, solo target, Secret kind of has the edge, but as we can see, one nice vacuum wall into an FYM Earth Spike can, can just turn the fight around every time if they find the jump in. At the moment, both teams keeping themselves opposite sides of the map. Secret going to look for the push here. Yeah, they were hoping for Envy to show himself at bottom. They were kind of hiding in the trees, just pushing with burning. And Secret reading Vici's movements pretty well. They're so just kind of counter pushing the top lane now. Not a tier 2 tower Vici Gaming care to defend. They're very much prioritizing team fighting and defending their high ground. Not that Secret are going to be five men pushing the high ground anytime soon. I mean, for Secret, what's the game plan? As we've been saying with the draft, they can comfortably take it oh. kind of later, but you feel that they still have some kind of urgency to push and try and break high ground again pretty shortly. Not at all. I Not think so. they're going to fall back, play the farming game. It's a good time to pick up a gem, perhaps. Uh, they've got good farm coming out on Puppy's AA. They're getting great farm distribution. It's not just a few cores who are, who are kind of gaining items here. Nyx with an Aghanim Scepter can have a huge impact. And I think Envy really needs a defensive item next. That's very much Vici Gaming's kind of opening back into this game as if they can catch him out using like the Blink Hex, the DK Stun, the, the Queen of Pain Orca. There's a lot of these items. So like even if you go for like a, a Manta, you can get caught by a, a DK Stun. You can get caught by a Lion Hex. You go for a Lincoln. They have something. They, Lion can break it and then instantly impale you afterwards. So it's Ooh, no real guarantee. This is really nice from VG. So they show themselves okay. bottom. They TP out of vision, knowing that Secret have been drawn down to the bottom lane. And then they go back in from a smoke from base. And maybe this is it, the wrap around that Secret. They might not expect this. If I'm moving forward, it looks like it may be Puppy that's going to tank this one and they'll jump straight in. Oh, and the charge for as well. Puppy, fairly tanky here, but the shackle shot. Maybe they could turn Puppy. Tick now's here and they'll find the first kill here. BKB's pop by burning. The walls drop down as well. Finger on, so we are. They've got oh. the bashes here. Slide coming out, it's Sonic Wave! They'll fight, we are! Now they're gonna look for Misery, Ice Blast Flight is not gonna connect the stones there! They'll get the Misery Nyx Assassin as well! And that smoke from VG, enabling to them to have another beautiful team fight. And they might even get more Puppy will force himself away, Pylite Die. He's gonna be able to juke the Earth Spike here, but the Orc is there. They'll get Pylite Die as well! Double kill for Burning! And well. what a play from VG! All it took was a few more items. The Orchid, the DK Shadow Blade, both of these items
actually winning the team fight for VG Gaming. The Orchid cancelling off the Fiend script out of the Bane. The DK Shadow Blade just waited for the Wind Ranger to arrive to throw out the stun. Didn't o they didn't overcommit on the AA because initially it looked like a really bad smoke because all they were going to catch was an AA. But Secret decided to fight rather than let the AA die and just move on from there. That would have been a okay result for Secret. They committed. DK was there, just didn't stun, didn't even come out of Invis to kill the AA. And then took out the Wind Ranger on well, the rotation. Envy's gonna try and go for this. Super is still around here. They get the hex out with the charge in as well. He may be in trouble. We'll find the kill. Have they got the lockdown? They're gonna need the bashes. Then the strikes up in a couple of seconds. But no, he's gonna throw the round out. The bash is there though. They're not gonna be able to follow through. His misery will now turn into the fight. Has got the impale to set it up. They might be able to get Fenrir here. I don't know if he gets out. He's got to charge in one second. But no, misery there with the Vendetta hit. Finds himself the kill. And they may get Super as well. Searing Chase to set it up. But BKP is gonna be popped in Super. Looking for the run away. Oh wait, he's got the Shadow Blade. He doesn't have a TP. They don't have detection though on these two heroes, so he should be fine here. Momenting forward though, they're trying to see if Ooh, they can catch Arso, so he blinks here. out just in time on the dark here. Ducks. D I reckon that super still needs to be careful. I think he's gonna, oh, he can't hide in the pit, he's popped out and I, they actually saw him. But he's too and far away, could, Yeah, like. the remnants yeah. have already been used here by MV, so they won't be able to close the gap. So. And now Gem comes out for secret. I think yeah. this was just picked up, or at least it was just picked up by, uh, passed over to the Knicks. To help a lot against that Shadow Blade, and also just Secrets at the stage of the game where while they're not pushing high ground, they want to prevent Vici Gaming's item progression. Secret can farm the map very efficiently and can starve out Vici Gaming if, with, if they get some deep aggressive wards up and take away the Vici Gaming vision, which right now there's not a single dire ward up on the map. Absolutely, the map control for Secret is paramount at the moment, but at the same time there is a smoke in stock here for the side of Vici, and that's the kind of place yes. they need to go for. Those smokes from base where they can catch Secret off guard, because without those smokes, as we can see with the current warding position, uh, it's going to be very hard for Vici to get a successful jump on Secret outside of their base. I'm curious to see how long Vici Gaming wait. As much as the, the continuous smokes are working great for them, I feel like they may want to keep it in reserve until Roche comes back up. They also want to de-ward first, because these deep wards are... Has next been scattered? Darks here with the gem is in the mid lane. They've got a deep ward right now, because you go for that smoke, if there's deep vision from secret, they can kind of read when you're smoked up based on not seeing anyone on the map. Misery might try and burst. They've got an Ice Blast, if you can set it up, but there's a lot of heroes everything. here. Ice Blast to go in, now get the blink, the power shot onto two, now with the shackle shot, but now there might be a turn, they get the super stun out now, but you can be there, oh the back, you all the starting wave, Secret just getting melted, we are down, they'll find the Bane as well, double kill for Bernie, maybe even make that a triple if he gets misery and he will, triple kill for the Quap, once again, VG just turning these team fights around beautifully and Secret don't know what hit them. It really doesn't feel like Secret should be team fighting, even though they had the super superior vision, they had the ward by the secret shot that saw all the action, and they know they can get a good jump. They hit a blink two hero impale into a two hero shackle shot, but it's not onto the heroes that matter. It's a dark seer counter initiation with a queen of pain follow up, and secret, they don't have their defensive items. They've got a wind ranger who has kind of gone for the glass cannon build. Axe give you some stats, but you can't fight against the huge burst potential that the Vacuum Sonic Wave gives you. Similar story for the Ember. No defensive item, there's no Manta style, there's no BKB, no Lincolns, and as a result, trying to team fight, even when you get the good jump, if you're not taking out a Darkseer, you've lost the fight. You've got to either jump the Darkseer or just decide not to take that fight and secret, suddenly find themselves no longer really leading as much as, or well, not leading as much as they once were, that's, that's for sure. And yeah. They've still got the edge, but as we've seen the last one, couple of team fights, VG just come out on top, yep. and that's got to be worrying for the side of Secret. And you do always see the BKB start to fall off once they reach this five second mark, and it is both Dragonite and Queen of Pain down to five seconds now. And Roshan's up. I mean, if VG oh, can take yeah. one more fight and take the Rosh, I think we might see that graph level off back to zero, if not swing in favor of the side of VG. And the other thing where there was a big swing was the gem being lost. Misery. His gem went over to the Vici Gaming side, just being kept on the courier since they've got both gems. And for Vici Gaming, they've got a smoke, they've taken out most of the vision that Secret had up on the map. This suddenly gets really difficult to play from the side of Secret, with vision not in their favor. Uh, groups up at the moment, mid Secret. Vici maybe with the wrap around. Femre just getting himself away from the side of Secret. And look at the D ward out here. Mm -hmm. Puppy's got to be careful, he's not want to get caught here. 10 seconds till Sonic Wave for, for burning. Who's going to make the move first? They both know that Roshan's up. 
This is a and, very tense and moment And no one's for both defending sides. the creeps at mid lane, so that's kind of a telltale sign of where Vici Gaming are on the map, that they're around the Roshan pit, either in the Radiant jungle, in the pit itself, or around the Ancients area. Secret, at they best they can get this tier 3 tower, I feel. I don't think they can actually take a Rax here in exchange for Roshan. Vici Gaming will be ready to TP back, and they'd rather... Oh, okay, smoking and going. They need to get there quick. It's a half health at the moment. Ice 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 positioning himself on the side, so they will still be able to get a vacuum wall, potentially. Roshan's falling, they need to go here. And they're moving in with a slide, the chains. FY jumps straight in onto Misery. BKP's been popped by Burning. The Nightmare will come out, but now the charge. And the finger, Misery's taken down. That's one down here out of the fight. BKP's are gone, though. Super, moving this forward here dangerous. with Shadow Blade. Hey, if he can find a setup, the Shackle is going to latch onto Burning. Ice Blast as well. FY's over the sun, now the bash onto Weeha. The final win range of Burning will go down, but now they're moving for more. They'll get Puppy, and it's going to be a three for one trade. Maybe even four. Ice, 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 Big 40 will get Nightmare up. Can they? But he toggles it off. Oh, he toggled it off with the wall illusion so he can continue to chase with Lion. Get those shells out and he'll find Bane as well with the team. Four for one for Vici. And he and the right side. Side. Oh, he and gets it. Back. Oh, he gets it. He gets it. Pop and he's out. Oh, oh, oh. FY, oh, FY. He oh, he's got the mana for the stun. He's got the mana Force. for the stun. Force. He gets the stun. The charge as well. Have they got the lockdown? They need the bashes. They need all the bashes in the vacuum. They need another bash. He's going to try to be around, but the greens are there. He gets FY here. And we try to man fight. Look at the red. The one charge. And he gets it. Double kill for MV. Gets the chase for the dragon tail. They'll kill MV. They, they can't, can't kill him again. again. They can't kill him again. They've got to get themselves the hell out of there. There's no more remnants for eight seconds, but MV. Oh. Managing to take the Roshan, getting a couple of kills in return. My goodness, this game is it's just as good as the first one, Gods. No, I was kind of watching 25 minutes in like, man, I thought we were going to get three oh. games. I thought we were going to get a good game too, and it's quickly becoming a stop. But no, Vici Gaming have turned this around, although that, not quite the outcome they that were hoping for, MV considering how that started. That, that balanced off that overall. That the fact that he gets himself those two kills. Envy, oh my goodness. 17, 2, and 15. What okay. an insane play from him. Very much secret, desperately needing this win range of BKB, but they, they don't want to give Vici Gaming an easy roast, so they come in contesting it before they're kind of ready with their next level of items. Envy, since there's really no item you can get when there's, like, what, lots of stuff to break a Lincoln's, you can't rely on Manta against a Blink Hex, as well as a, a DK stun initiation, so he goes for just raw HP, picks up the Skadi, gives himself some good stats, gives you some Agi, gives you some extra armor, gives you a bit of everything as his defensive item here. So I like this pickup from Envy, makes a lot more sense than some of the other possible options that were like a bkb may be the one other he could have consi considered but this is more like a guarantee oh, since vg coming out deep in this bottom lane palo died with the glimmer cape got to be charged for the charge going for we have the shackle shot it latches onto the spirit break and they're looking for the vacuum and the wall is there but they lose family just get off the greaves in time super trying to find the return towards to palo died it's a one for one in a moment we'll see if they can find anything more here and it's gonna be super just backing off ice 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 hiding in the tree line and be trying oh. to move forward misery's there as well they'll get the change they'll look to try and find super he's got a lot of armor trying to turn but super almost certainly will go down and he will two kills there for the side of Secret, only losing Pylai die, and this is Secret, yep. maybe recovering the momentum that they missed and they lost earlier on in this game. I mean, two heroes now down on the side of Vici, and neither of these with buyback 60 seconds on the sidelines here for Super. And importantly, we saw it in the last big team fight in that little clash there, the five second BKB starting to hurt Vici Gaming. The previous fight, they used them very early on, and Secret managed to kind of like pull back and kite a little bit. They were a bit too committed for them to fully turn the fight around, but this time, like, DK there pops his BKB to go in for the kill and then has no real duration left for the escape. And this is the time to push. The wall was used, of course, on the bottom lane, so... Oh, There's no dragon sense. form and no DK yeah. buyback. This could be a set of racks here for the side of Secret. They'll find the melee. They get the range as well. Oh, in fact, Envy wants to find kills. Moving in. He just gets silenced up there. They've got the stun here. They've got the damage to turn. The fingers there Envy, as well. The Sonic Wave. He's ticking low. Envy's going to go down. They killed Envy. They might find more. Excellent. So we have the vacuum. They're right side. So he gets on the shells. Big four from Burning. There's a BKB on Wii. Oh, the Jackal shot. Turns around. Kills the clock. Misery gets the stun on one. He's looking for another strike. And with Ranger is out of there. Bash the Nether Strike with the puppy. Keeping him in the base. <laughs> Ice Ice has got to get himself out. Misery. Moving forward. Oh. Mana burn. Can he find it? Ice 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 trying to juke it around. They should charge from Fenrir. Next one to two. They're going to have the DK group. back up now careful. as well. The DK just super teeping straight into this fight. He wants to go BKB's part and then onto Misery. But the Fiend's grip from Pylite die. The Ice Bomb for the vacuum onto four. The Fiend fired. They lose Super though. They're in there with the clean up. And it's just Weeho's got to get.
get himself out of there. It'll be a nightmare here. Onto ice, 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 hunting him back. We are trying to turn. Gets the shackle off onto the creep. The power shot as well. Digging low still has the ice blast on him. It is the Agonim's ice blast. Debuff the right click from Pilar Die. We'll push him over the threshold in. It's just ice, ice, ice. He's trying to chase down for more here, but Bane is moving forward. Well, Bane ice, 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 ice has got to be careful here. On the back, yeah. If ice, ice, ice can close this. Oh. Yeah, Pilar Die. Oh, all right. Okay, just teasing. Blinks away. It's illusion doing a fair bit to Pilar <laughs> Die, but. Again, I mean that team fight. Oh jeez. At, at the end there, Queen of Pain had a buyback. Burning could have bought back and probably gotten at least the win range and maybe even cleaned up secret. But it was one of those like, if my team don't need me, I'd rather not use my buyback. Very much we're at the stage where if you're buying back to get a kill or two, you're not going to reach your late game items that you need on this Queen of Pain. Burning already going for more like a DPS carry or into build with the assault queerest pickup. So decides not to buy back. I think ultimately maybe. Probably the, the better decision there, even if he could have killed off Weeha. And still, neck and neck. These team fights, absolutely insane. Some of the shackles coming out from Weeha, just. Abs I'm speechless. Uh, BKB is now an ice, ice, ice as well, so he'll have an easier time trying to find these walls and, and back. Not that he's needed to, because every time they've pretty much been on point. Just something else to allow him to stick around in the fight, chase people down, ensure that he can surge out his kind of allies here, save people like Super, or even just allowing Super to get close and personal to get the lockdown on heroes like Amber. Okay, unfortunately, we are going to have a quick pause here, which seems like a shame to break down <laughs> the pace of this, but Man. hopefully it's not for too long. It's been non stop the last like, hey, 15, 20 minutes. Can have a breather. Neither team has slowed down for a second. Often you reach like the 30, 35 minute stage of the game and someone's going to like, one of the team sides, we're kind of at a stalemate, let's just slow it down. Prioritize like getting a farm, getting our next core item, but because of the nature of the Vici gaming, gaming lineup, having to kind of force fights a bit and not go too much in the late game, and Secret wanting to contest Roche, actually just kept on happening. It really did. I mean, the turnaround did start to happen for VG. Secret's still showing us with these fights, though, they are still in a strong position. And it's a lot of this, I feel, is down to Ice 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 on getting those vacuum walls so they can get the multi man stuns, of course, with the Lion, the follow through with the Sonic Wave. A lot is down to this Dark Seer. And I don't think that's a bad thing for VG because so far, Ice Ice Ice, he has been performing yeah. and overperforming, in fact, for the side. Yeah. And outside of that, the BKB usage from both teams has to be like on point you've got to get maximum use out of them you want the dk queen of pain not to be using them defensively but no. as they engage as a full fight blows out similarly the wind ranger needs to not get caught in the aoe wombo combo if wind ranger gets caught in a vacuum into an impale or a dk stun without getting a bkb off then secret are in trouble so his bkb usage has to be on point <laughs> there we go, so we're back in, and uh, the excuse used by Ice 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 there was just, ah, E stuff, so. <laughs> Push the power button accidentally. Yeah, Oopsie daisy. There we go. You're getting caught out, but we should be good, hopefully, to get ourselves back in. Ice 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 is ready. Ice Ice Ice, one name closer to his real name as well today. Yeah, he's just got the letter I, yeah. and he's rocking. The game one name wasn't working for him, evidently, so he had to it mix was, it up here for game it two. It was a little bit rude. Uh, we didn't translate it on stream for reasons, but... I'm sure some people out there understood what the symbols meant. And here we go, ready? Okay, we just want to... No, wait. I have to wait, okay. Okay. Just... And taking a look at some oh, of no. our graphs here, it is 8,000 gold lead for secret. Okay. 10,000 experience, not 45 minutes in, not it's massive not huge by any means. Changes, yeah. And we are seeing Vici Gaming with a slight team fight advantage as far as if they can land everything, if the execution is there, so... Secret, and they can fall back on their farm a bit. Like having an Ag Scepter on an Ancient Apparition in the late game, the four staffs on multiple heroes as well is something they are really good at using, but not going to help you if Vici Gaming get the jump with that vacuum wall we talked about from Ice Ice Ice. And getting off these initiation gets easy. He's now even going to BKB as well. That's a fresh pickup for off. the Darks here. We're back into this insane game of an insane series. Vici versus Secret and top lane. Envy's got to blink forward. Yeah, Remnant straight back out. No, it was Remnant and FY hiding in the sidelines. But yeah, a little bit of a passive point at the moment. No team's really on the edge of looking for oh, kills. It's only passive because we had the pause. That's, That's true. Probably, yeah, just, this feels, was like 30 seconds yeah, after a crazy fight. So. this has been the quiet bit. We'll see if it stays that way. <laughs> uh, Roche, about two and a half minutes away. It may be quiet until Roche, but Vici Gaming, I feel like they can still look to take the fight to Secret. Take advantage of the fact that keeping this Ember alive, keeping the Wind Ranger alive, is not easy with how much pick-off potential Vici Gaming have out of Lion as well as Dragon Knight. Let's see, so Super just leading in with his Shadow Blade. They're not going to find anyone around here. 
secret at the moment just farming up their own jungle you've got envy of course constantly pressuring the outer lanes and and kind of pulling vg apart as they kind of dart up and down trying to see if they can catch him out but envy he's going to be playing very safe and uh, the kda just shows that he has been so far 17 kills three assists 18 sorry 18 assists three deaths only died three times in this 46 minute game envy's performance in game one on the ember spirit was pretty impressive and and game two is no exception either and Vici Gaming very much itemizing for the now. They pick up a Vlad's on Spirit Breaker. Rather have the aura item than have a buyback on him and not really here. That's going to make a whole lot out of having a buyback. For Secret, sticking together as five. These Vici Gaming heroes have been, I think four of them have been missing from the map for the last like minute and a half. They made their kind of adventure to the Radiant Ancients. Then they headed back top to protect Ice Ice Ice, who does show himself on the map. So not either team knowing where the other really is right now. And... As a result, they're five manning, they're grouping up, they just so happen to be on different sides of the map. Yeah, Super constantly scouting forward here with a Shadow Blade, just seeing if anyone comes out. And I guess it's going to be a question, really, if this continues on these two lanes, who is going to be forced to back first? Um, I think both teams will ultimately end up backing. Vici Gaming are probably the ones who want to get back probably a little bit earlier. While Roche can't respawn just yet, they want to try and de-ward the error. They know Secret was just on the bottom side of the map, pushing things very deep. And they, well, for one thing, they've actually let this tower take a bit of unnecessary damage. It's not the end of the world for them, but for Vici Gaming, I feel like de-warding the Dire Ancients and Roche area right now is probably going to be their next objective. If they bring back all five heroes, push up both mid and bottom, and swoop through that region to get any secret wards taken out. Right now, there's actually not much. It's they're kind of further towards the secret jungle where they are, but yeah, Roche up in the next three minutes. I mean, looking at Burning of the Quaff, obviously he talks about the fact that he's going more for the physical DPS with the AC. Do you think he's going to continue that and maybe look for something like an MKP? Oh. Or could we see him go back for like an Aghanim Scepter so he's got that 40 I, second uptime for these team fights? I don't think you go Ags this late in okay. the game. You can go for a refresher though. The BKB yes. is such an important item that having a double BKB is huge. Normally you don't see refresher until it's a BKB plus a sheep stick, for example, or a BKB shivers where you can get two shivers or two sheeps off. But having a double sonic wave, and this is one of those few games where I feel like the BKB is the most important thing for Vici Gaming for burning. It could easily justify a refresher here as his next item pickup, but sheep stick may be more likely as the guy before that. We'll have to wait and see. There's other options. If he wants to go carry, he can go MKB. Yeah, there we go. He picks up a javelin. MKB, okay. great MKB, against the Wind yeah. Ranger when he wants to fight. And this kind of synergizes with the AC, playing the Quap as more of a late game hard carry. Something which we talked about a bit. Michi Gaming, the lineup isn't really a late game one. They were very much drafting this to win the game in the first 20 to 30 minutes. It just didn't happen that way. So they're now adapting, itemizing differently, and changing their play style up. And just a moment, just making the most use of the map as they can, stacking up the Ancients. They're See going to be all efficient. in on the damage here. It's also an MKB Ooh. build from Super. He's not even... Well, he doesn't need to go AC since they've already got one. And Roche is now back up. Aegis and Cheese ready for the taking. If either team feels confident enough to go for it. And Vici Gaming know they've kind of scouted out the area with their gem. There shouldn't be any vision there to see them. And all their vision kind of not in the most useful places on the map. Because both teams will be partaking in what looks to be a bit of a, a Mexican standoff here around the Roche pit. Nice, nice, nice. Just getting the top lane pushed back out there with the shells. Bottom lane secret, hanging around, moving in now. Misery with the Vendetta. Ooh. Getting the warding out, making sure that there's no vision here from the side of VG. Yes, yeah, aggressively, aggressively popping down the sentries everywhere that they can. And they saw it. Burning. You could see the burning there, but no catch. Very much more difficult to play right now for VG Gaming because they have to continually push out these lanes partially because they lost the melee racks at mid and partially just because Secret have better like lane push that they can do safely. The Ember just TPs around to lane, spam slide of fist, and then they pull back and as a result VG Gaming oh, needing a hit soon. It's going to be the BKB oh, no. bit early from Super here. <clears throat> And it looks like Secret will be able to get themselves out. Maybe not Pilot die because the charge is coming through. Super moving to the left, seeing if he can find EE. And he can! They get the Orc, they get the Dragon Tail on the left here. And this is the big kill. There's the Stun, the Vacuum Wars, they killed EE. And now looking for Pilot die. Nether Strike comes out. F5 moving forward here. We are Misery on the side. There's a buyback from EE. They're going to try and turn it. EE in the middle of the fight here. We'll try and remnant it. No, he's just staying around. Hitting onto Super. They'll find two. They found Burning. They no found buyback. Super. They might find Fairy as well with this buyback from Eternal Empty. It looks like they'll get Ice 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 in the pit as well. Four, five down. A full T wipe there off the back of the buyback from Envy. They'll get the rush as well. Absolutely massive play there from Eternal Envy. And Vici only have buyback available on an eyesight side. 
That was as bad as it could have gone there for Vici Gaming and incredibly well played yep. by Secret. This has just been, I mean, this best of three can just be summarized by Eternal Envy baiting. Another, like, he has buyback there. It's not necessarily the plan from the get-go. It's definitely not that Envy dies to start things I off. I mean, could but this it's, be game? It's an insurance policy. They they know if they overcommit to kill an Ember Spirit, they're going to go for the game. Yeah, and absolutely. There's no buyback. They get it, yeah. Only Delta just, C has buyback. And he doesn't have wall. Secret. This could be it. I've Secret, it. and they've done it. Secret, take the series. 2-0 against VG Gaming. But you certainly can't say that VG Gaming didn't try their darndest this series. An amazing performance from both teams, but at the end of the day, Secret just with the edge. It's one of those things where VG Gaming, despite losing and having that awful early game, they impressed the hell out of me with how they managed to turn the game around.